There really is no explanation for why I do what I do. Yet you come here every week, wasting your money. You don't even care if you get better, do you? I think it's obvious by now what I care about. Well, either way, you're going to be severely disappointed. I have no doubt. And yet you speak with such optimism. Optimism only has to do with the future in speculation. You're wrong. Am I? You've come to my office every week for three years, making yourself sick for no reason more other than factitious. I could never love a man who licks his palms. Then don't shake my hand. I can refuse treatment to anyone. You've had three years to do so, yet security has yet to show their faces. Perhaps today will be the day. The phone's right there. Face it, you wouldn't know what to do with yourself if you didn't have me to put up with. Is your daughter in college now? Don't talk about my daughter. Sorry, that was a bit too far. Speaking about my daughter is a right only held by the rational. Then it looks like I'm shit out of luck. At least you aren't delusional. Can I lick your face? Don't ask obvious questions. What if I told you it would cure me? It would get you off as what it would do. Not exactly. Do tell. The truth is it's simply a hobby of mine, not a fetish. Fetishes imply some sort of sexual compulsion. I get nothing more than a platonic joy out of it. There's no telling where your tongue has been. You probably pressed the elevator button on the way up. You have my medical charts, you know. You could check them. If I did let you lick my face for strictly platonic reasons, what would I get in return? I'll continue to pay your weekly salary, but don't take up your precious time. How would I know you'll keep your word? I think we both know I'm good for it. I don't know. I'll pay triple for today. Quadruple. Deal. Just let me go get some disinfectant out of my car. No. Mm. 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 Mm.